Good morning. Happy 4th to you. We're starting off really nicely this morning. 70 degrees as we head into the 9 o'clock hour. And temperatures are going to climb quickly. It is going to be another hot one today. Mid 80s uh, by your lunch hour and then topping out in the mid 90s this afternoon. But with a little bit more moisture, of course, that makes it feel a little hotter. So just like yesterday, expect it to feel similar temperature wise. And we may see an isolated thunderstorm or two this afternoon, much like we did yesterday. But we're not going to have quite as much moisture to work with. So uh, expect them to be a little more isolated in nature. Right now this morning, uh, we're starting off with mainly clear skies, a few clouds down in the southeast, some green showing up here on the radar, but uh, that not making it to the ground. And then over in the southwest, partly cloudy skies. We may see a few spot storms over in the western high terrain today, and then of course up in the northern mountains and perhaps over in the east mountains as well. Visibility this morning, not looking too bad for most of us. Los Alamos, though, of course, down to five, so a lot of smoke there. And I'll have details of the forecast there. And of course, the seven day will be coming up. The Los Conscious Fire continues to top our headlines. Here now is the morning news. Group. The Los Conscious Fire, which has threatened Los Alamos and the nearby nuclear lab, started when a tree hit a power line. The fire is 19% contained, and residents began returning home yesterday morning. We'll have more on this coming up in a live report from Los Alamos. The Donaldson Fire near Hondo in southern New Mexico has burned about 97,000 acres. It's still threatening 80 structures, but all evacuation orders have been lifted. The wildfire is now 50% contained. A house caught on fire early this morning on the 200 block of Arnaud in northeast Albuquerque. There were no injuries reported. Crews are investigating how it started. Montana officials are trying to determine how much oil spilled into the Yellowstone River when an ExxonMobil pipeline ruptured on Friday. And the Florida murder trial of Casey Anthony resumes this morning with one last set of closing arguments from the prosecution. Then jurors are expected to begin deliberations. And those are the 4th of July headlines.